This is talk to Fadina Najam from Division of Arts and Social Sciences, University of Education, Lahore. The course title is Advanced Landscape Painting. Dear students, our topic is about color contrast, attributes, interaction, harmony, psychology, mood, culture, and expressions. Part 1 color contrast attributes first of all what is color color is the result of the breakdown of white light into its single elements by using a glass prism these color elements consist of violet indigo blue cream yellow orange and red they are the colors of the rainbow Sir Isaac Newton first showed that natural white light is a combination of all the colors of all the visible light spectrum. What is contrast? Contrast is simply defined as difference. Difference between art elements like color, value, size, texture and so on can intensify the elements used as a result the elements as a result the elements used in a work of art can become more powerful although contrast is closely related with variety it is usually considered a principle of art Contrast simply creates variety. What is color contrast? Two colors from different segments of the color wheel are contrasting colors. Also known as complementary or clashing colors. Contrasting colors are colors that differ from one and other. Levels of contrast vary from high to low depending on their position on the color wheel. For example, colors that are directly opposite on another, one another on the color wheel have the highest contrast possible, while colors next to one another have a low contrast. For example, red, orange and orange are colors that have low contrast. Red and green are colors that have high contrast. Reds and greens are contrasting color, contrasting colors. The more transitional colors spreading two colors, the greater the contrast. For example, Colors that are directly opposite from one another are said to clash. Although this clashing or high contrast is not necessarily a bad thing. Colors that are directly opposite from one another are said to clash. Although this clashing or high contrast is not necessarily a bad thing. Some of these high contrasts Complementary clashing colors are quite pleasing. High contrast, low contrast. Understanding color contrast. It is easy to understand it. It is easy to understand how color can create contrast. For example, complementary colors provide a high level of contrast. Complementary colors are colors that are located directly across from each other on the color wheel. Red and green, blue and orange, and purple and yellow are all the examples of this. But when 
using complementary colors we also have to consider value value is the darkness or lightness of color without contrast in value the contrast created by complementary colors in counterproductive color contrast for the sake of aesthetics to say the least choosing high contrast colors for a design in is a bold move below are examples of high color contrast these pairs are directly across from one and other on the color wheel high contrast colors art and design that uses high contrast colors really pop looking at designs like these creates a unique experience but has a tendency to become a little painful because of this liability high color contrast is not always the best idea to use in design at the same time low color contrast can also be a bad idea using these schemes make it hard to differentiate between elements low contrast colors neighboring colors tenebrism from the italian tenebroso also called dramatic illumination is a style of painting using very pronounced sheer scuro where there are violet contrast of light and dark and where darkness become a dominating feature of the image the technique was developed to add drama to an image through a spot light effect and was popular during the baroque period of painting an example of op art this painting has such a strong contrast in colors that it plays with visual perception and makes it seem as if the shapes are moving there is also a contrast in shapes in that positive shapes becomes negative shapes and vice versa six methods for creating stunning contrast in your portrait painting when you hear the word contrast you probably think of dark versus light but paintings can have many different kinds of contrast in them here are just a few cool warm light dark sharp blurry thick paint thin paint sketchy detail straight curve can you pick out the different contrast here's what i did cool warm contrast the favorite color of this lady is purple her clothing was purple 
and several walls in her home were purple. So, it was not hard for me to choose purple as the main color in this portrait. But if everything was purple, that would not be a very interesting painting. So artist mixed a warm purple red for the background and cool bluish purple for her clothing. The artist wanted to draw attention to her face. So around the head near the top of the chair. She painted much lighter colors to contrast against the dark shadow of her hair. The rest of the chair. She made a darker gray thin a reality. She did the same for her shirt and coat except for the areas adjacent to the head. Everything she did was light dark contrast was to create a fish fo focal point around her face. She blurred her left sleeve into the background but kept her right sleeve sharp against the gray of the chair. In front, many edges in the painting blur and blend into each other except where she painted crisps lines to draw attention to the face which contains the clearest details of all thick paint thin paint her subject clothing is thinly painted so much so that the blue underpainting shows through in the background however she applied the paint thickly sketchy detail contrast she added quick gestural lines where the chair meets her right arm to emphasize the energetic and sparkling personality of the model this loose style of painting contrasts greatly with her careful detail facial features. Straight curved contrast in the same way while most of the lines and edges in this portrait curve naturally. She painted the sketchy areas with straighter and more angular brush strokes. There is no law, law that says you must use contrast in your paintings, but she always try to do this. So, but she always try to do so. After all, merely painting a good likeness of a sitter face does not make an interesting painting. Adding different kind of contrast, however, will always help. Try adding one or more of these six types of contrast to your next painting. It will make a big difference. In the leaves of the tree and on leaf covered grass below. But it consists of only three color groups. The dominant group is the yellow gold color, which consists of a lighter yellow and a darker yellow ochre. These two yellows are within the same hue family. So they form a single group. <coughs> The other two groups, green and brown violet, are used in lesser amount in the painting. So, they 
occupy less area in the in the switch as well the small accent of red brown and sky blue are too small to qualify as a full color group but they offer small glimpses of contrast so they are indicated in the switch sets as very tiny accents in this analysis instead of painted swatches colors have been digitally sampled from the painting clean air painters working in haste under rapidly changing light are as compelled to organize their colors into groups as studio painters are Kyolali gestural style fills the canvas with many small strokes of color yet those strokes are roughly organized into three color groups the yellow orange in the mint ground the pink in the tree and contrasting cool and warm grays in the mountains sky and foreground there are other essent colors that do not fall into any one of those color groups such as the green touches at the very bottom or the darkest gray violet strokes but they do not compromise the color grouping it is the most dominant colors that form the grouping and serve as a foundation of the color composition color groups are an expression of the color strategy in its most basic and obvious form Ferguson style is a complex tapestry of broken color that adds an exciting dimension to the color composition much like an impressionist Ferguson uses many small touches of broken colors just a posing cools warms and contrasting hues alongside one and other this diversity of color is kept under control by organizing those colored strokes into color groups of closely related hues and values the sky the hill the tree line and the snow and so on in this example the small in this example the swatches swatches mean a small piece of cloth that is used as a sample for choosing colors fabrics fabrics etc so the swatches are extracted from the painting itself in order to show the complex harmonize formed within each color group
the pinks in the tree and the contrasting cool and warm grays in the mountain sky foreground